right, here they are all melted. Look at that cheese over there. Oh my goodness, it's all like dripping down the pepper. It looks so good. <laughs> Hey guys, so today for you, I'm going to be doing stuffed bell peppers. I always tend to buy them from Costco. I don't know if you guys have ever bought them from Costco, which they're actually really good from Costco, but I just came across this recipe and um, I want to try it, but I'm kind of doing my own little tweaks on it a little bit. So um, let's get started. If you're interested, stay tuned. On your Instant Pot, you're gonna wanna press the saute button and wait for it to say hot. And then I just sprayed the inside of my um, pan, uh, my pot with um, some canola oil cooking spray, just so it doesn't stick. You could do any other type of little oil if you want or none at all. It's kind of totally up to you. So you're gonna wanna do one diced yellow onion. All right, so you're just gonna wanna saute these for a little bit. When they start to get translucent um, in color, you're gonna wanna add some minced garlic and the one pound of ground beef. Now I just added the ground beef and get that all broken up and then I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and minced garlic and I'll tell you how much I add of each of those. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of uh, minced garlic because I like garlic. Now one teaspoon of sea salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna just wait until this meat all browns up. And then we'll go to our next step. Next, we're gonna add one can, 20 ounce can of crushed tomato. And this can be a little um, liquidy, so you could do a little bit less of the can if you want. Um, I also am adding some um, Italian breadcrumbs, so it will make it a little bit more firm, not as soupy of a mixture, but I am gonna add the whole can here. And then we're gonna also do one cup of cooked rice. I cooked this earlier today to save myself a step right now, just to help out. My meat is all done here. Um, you can drain if there's any excess fat in here. I don't have a lot in here because this is a leaner meat that I have, so I am not gonna drain it. But if you do see a lot of liquid from your meat, I would drain it if you don't want extra liquid on top of the, uh, crushed tomatoes because there's a lot of liquid in there. After adding the tomato sauce um, in here, it gets pretty hot on the saute mode. I like to turn it off, so I am going to turn my saute mode off. And this stays really hot. So as I'm adding the rest of my mixture, like the rice and stuff, um, I just turned it off because you're gonna eventually take this out and fill the bell peppers with this mixture, so. Next, we're gonna add three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, I said that good, um, to the mixture. One teaspoon of sugar. We're gonna mix those two ingredients around. Next, we're gonna add one cup of rice. Next, we're gonna add a half a cup of breadcrumbs. I can't find my half cup, so this is my three-fourths cup. That's why it's not filled to the top, but that's about a half a cup. If it's a little more, no biggie. And we're gonna mix this all in it's all covered. Then one fourth cup um, grated Parmesan cheese. All right, now I just transferred it from my Instant Pot into the bowl here, and then I'm gonna cut up my bell peppers, and then we'll stuff these little bad boys. So I just bought four um, different color bell peppers. You could probably buy all the same color, I just think they look pretty, all four different ones. So this one's kind of sad because he's like leaning to the side, so I don't know how well stuff is gonna stay in him. So um, I'm gonna take the mixture, fill these guys up, put them on my trivet in the Instant Pot. All right, I put my trivet in the bottom. I did rinse out my pot a little bit. There is still some meat and sauce residue in there, and then I added one and a half cups of water. Um, to the bottom so they're gonna steam and cook it and if you don't rinse out the pot I guess it gives the peppers a little bit more flavor but it's what up to you if you want to rinse it out or not all right here is my peppers all stuffed this little green guy he like he's sad 
but he's hanging on there. I have a lot of the mixture left, so you can just eat that, I guess, because there's rice and there's meat and onions. It tastes really good, so I just eat it by itself. It's extra. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on here. Lock it, seal it. We're gonna do manual for only four minutes. And then we'll let that go. If you guys are watching these videos of mine that I do, if you guys ever have like any ideas of any recipes that you would want me to do for you, um, put it in the comments below. I'm always open to trying new um, recipes, new fun things. I kind of want to try the wine in the Instant Pot. I've heard it's really disgusting, but I just kind of want the challenge to do it, but it takes a long time. Like it's a lot of days I heard. So I don't know if I want to do it, but <laughs> if you have anything that you think would be fun for me to do, um, comment below. Thanks. The peppers just cooked for their four minutes. I need to let it sit here for about six minutes until I release um, the pressure here because they'll still cook a little bit in there. So it's already been about a minute. So when it's six minutes, we'll open it up and then top them with the rest of the cheese. So here they are all cooked. They are tender, you can see. Perfect. I'm gonna top them with cheese. Now in my instructions, I do have uh, cheese measurements, but our family, we love cheese. So I just kind of do it by sight. I add as much as I want. So you can go by the measurements or you can just add what you want. Or if you don't like cheese or just leave the cheese completely out too, you could do that. Okay, I topped it with the um, Italian blend, the Fontina and uh, all that type of yummy cheese and the Parmesan cheese is underneath there. So now I'm gonna place the lid back on and let the cheese melt for a few minutes. All right, here they are all melted. Look at that cheese over there. Oh my goodness, it's all like dripping down the pepper. It looks so good. All right, so I have to warn you guys, taking the bell peppers out of the Instapot is a little tricky. If they get pretty soft, which mine did, one actually stayed intact, three of them basically fell apart. <laughs> but it still tastes really good, so you might have a little bit of a challenge getting them out. Try to maybe use a big spoon, get underneath, and then with the tongs, try to pull them out. Um, my husband is trying to help me get them out of the thing, so um, they might get a little bit softer if you leave them in for the six minutes. Maybe cut that down to just a couple minutes, like two minutes, and they maybe will stay a little bit more crunchy, or do quick release pressure right after the four minutes. And if you like your bell peppers a little more crunchy, um, maybe do the nat the, the non natural release just quick release and um, they might not get as soft they're pretty soft right now which I don't mind that but um, it might be a little easier getting them out I'll show you the end result on each plate what they look like right, so here's the one that came out actually perfect and all together <laughs> here's just the sad little one right here this one we lost a lot of the insides he's still in the instant pot so I'm gonna get out the insides and put it on that plate and then this one's just laying to the side with all his cheese oozing out but they do look really good. They just don't look very pretty. This is actually your second bite. Lots of cheesy in there. Okay. Cheese delicious. Pretty good. I think it's one of the best. Um, do you like it better than still. Costco's or do you like Costco's better? I'm better than Costco. <laughs> Would you even say if it wasn't because I'm your mom and I made it? You'd probably be like, no, I need to say mom. No, it's still actually better. Okay, good. He got the deformed one, but that's okay. I think it's good. Um, I was saying that I like this one a little bit better than the Costco one. Uh, one of the reasons is uh, if he's like the Costco one mostly has rice is the main ingredient of the inside. Um, it's more rice. Less, less. This has more tomato and meat flavor and, and good, good and flavors. Cheese, yeah. And cheese, yeah. I put flavor. more cheese than they do. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, let me know if you guys try this recipe and if it turns out great for you. Um, it's super yummy and delicious. I am loving this. I think this is one of my new favorites. So um, if you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Bye guys.